I don't know if it was much by design, uh, but, I, but I think it came to our thinking is that when you're trying to change a culture uh, 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 from losing to winning, you're trying to create a winning program, you like players that know how to win, players that are used to winning. And I looked at the, uh, the group of men with, that we have signed, there was 21 we've signed, we have three that won state championships in 2011. Four had undefeated seasons in 2011. One school has had back-to-back -back national champions that this player started on, uh, and another was from a state of Florida, two of them from the state of Florida's team that won three out of the last five national championships there. The point being that we want these players to come in and to know how to win, to, 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 be, to be comfortable in having experienced success and have that be something that they bring to the table too besides their athletic ability is, they, is to bring in that culture of winning and programs that win that they come from. So uh, I'm very, pl very pleased that we have that. To a guy from the South, uh, if they're coming because of the coach's reputation that's working with them or, the, uh, um, or my background, um, now when I say this, when they came up to see the facilities, they say, oh my goodness, that's as, it looks like any other BCS school they've gone to when it comes to the facilities. Um, so I think, I think um, it's, uh, it's easier from a distance to, from a distant area to probably sell if they're, if they got, if they, if they're coming, if, they're, if you've got name recognition, things like, like that. Um, as far as the, the, the local guys, um, um, Again, I think you've got to sell them on a vision. You've got to sell them on, on uh, an expectation of success that, that, that you're going to be able to change some things. And so I think that's probably a little harder when they've been fed. Their, in their minds, they've been fed, hey, why would you go to Akron? And they've heard it for the last two or three years, why would you go to Akron? A guy from, you know, from, you know, and, 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 and Get into, yeah, yeah I re you, we really have a limited knowledge of what we've got. It's a, we have, we, we, we have some of these things, some of our decisions have been really a shot in the dark in a lot of ways in regard to how many people do we have that can play winning football at this position and that position. Because again, we have not, other than having a team meeting and our strength coach being to lift with guys, uh, we have no knowledge of, of, we haven't had any agility drills, or which we'll have in a couple of weeks. We haven't had any practices, which we'll have in the spring. Uh, and we don't have personal feel for some of these guys, not only uh, how well they played last year, if they didn't have a lot of video or film from games, but how well they fit into our system and our needs. And so I, I, I will be quite honest, I do believe in my heart that this team's going to shock us, that these players are going to surprise us. I know their attitude has. They, they, they want this to include them. They want, they want this to start with them. And I think and, and history, I think, that I, my experience suggests that we'll have more surprises that are favorable, that are unfavorable from the players on our team uh, just because of this new life and this, they, they're all, they, they want to win like a lot of other people around here.